Welcome back to Clooney Garage. It's Fred here. It's Nostalgic Sunday. We're going to take you through our top five Chevrolet engines of all time. Let's get there. So Chevrolet engines and crate engines have been around for a long time. And in the last couple of months, we've seen a few you know, new ones come on the scene and old ones get retired too. So no better time to do this video. So let's start it off with number five. Coming in at number five, displacement will uh, be no surprise to many of you. It's the Mighty 454. And that was the synonymous with the big blocks you know, that, that displacement for Chevrolet. And uh, the one I'm particularly enamored with is the LSX version of it. So come out with a big bow tie, cast iron block, aluminium heads. And this seems pretty, pretty awesome, actually. There's a few cars getting around Australia uh, with this, this engine in it. One particularly in the LSX Tuner magazine. It's a uh, blue sort of uh, early model Commodore, and it's very cut capable. So what makes this engine so cool is that it's a bit modular by design. You can actually put an EFI set up on it, put a carby on it if you want. Comes as a long, um, sort of short block from Chev in the crate. But you know, you're looking at 627 horsepower, 11 to one compression, and the heads are based off the LS7 as well. So you've got some pretty, you know, race pedigree heads and um, titanium valves, and the thing just revs too, but it's uh, very cool. Next on the list is the LT5. It's the uh, big brother to the LT4 that first came out. This is the LT is the new generation of the uh, LS technology and architecture. And this LT5 is pretty serious. You know, it's based on a 6.2 litre displacement block. It's got the bigger 2.65 Eaton supercharger on it. And yeah, it's very, very cool. Come out in the 2019 ZR1 Corvette, 700 horsepower. And with that bigger blower, you know, the little LT4 had the little 1700 blower. This thing's got some serious mumbo to um, get the air and the uh, juices pumping. And um, yeah, I'll tell you what, the bank allowed it, I'll be getting one of these. All right, next on the list, this thing's a bit of a personal favorite, made famous on the Cletus McFarland uh, YouTube channel, and uh, it's the SB 2.2. So this um, small block Chev, designed specifically for NASCAR racing, geez, these things can rev, you know, 79, 8900 is uh, not unusual. Come with a range of different displacements too, so I've seen them everywhere from sort of 402, 440, um, and even up around the, um, the 452 seems to be a magic um, displacement for them. But um, you know, this basically stands for the second generation small block. And uh, as I mentioned, it's a NASCAR racing engine. It doesn't come out any in production cars. But Scott shafferoff has got um, one and we'll share some pictures. You know, this thing comes out as a crate, 15 to 1 compression, 920 horsepower. And I'll tell you what, if you've seen that YouTube clip where um, on the Cletus McFarlane YouTube channel when they get the veteran NASCAR, the Dale um, Earnhardt replica, and they get that on the dyno and they spin it up, it is mental. So um, yeah, these are very cool. And um, there's the odd drag car going around Australia who's got one of these ones, but um, not something you see every day. And uh, yeah, pretty wild. This next one, it could have easily been number one because I've got one of these. It's the mighty LS7 7 litre. Oh, this thing. I mean, I'm in love with this thing. The two things I'm in love with, Mrs. Fred and the LS7. So, uh, probably in that order too. But anyway, that's all good. So, 11 to 1 compression. They only come out in one car in Australia. That was the W427. And that's why we were lucky enough to get a, a crate engine for one of those. But made famous in the US around um, you know, the Le Mans Corvette racing team and winning. And 505 horsepower. But, you know, they also came out the odd Corvette, and um, one of the Camaros come out with them as well. But sadly, you know, late, earlier this month, sorry, they've announced that you can no longer get these in a crate. So these things are, they're deprecated, unfortunately. So um, if you've got one, hold on to it, because they aren't making any more of them. But it is a small block capacity and architecture, big block displacement. So um, pretty cool. Titanium valves, amazing technology in the heads. And, uh, and they rev, you know, 11 to 1 compression, you know, titanium con rods, like they are, uh, they are pretty exquisite. Now the combination that uh, Chevrolet never did, they never put a blower on the LS7, so um, I did. So that was a bit of a Frankenstein moment there, putting a, a big blower on the LS7. And if you want to see and hear what this thing sounds like, check this out. So you've heard for our top five list and also you know, a bit of a personal top five. A um, few that I didn't 
you know, have on a list that you might be asking, Fred, what about this one? Well, 350 Chev, love those. I love the small block Chevs. Um, you know, we've got some interesting combinations too. Uh, the early days of the 307, the 327, but the, the most famous of all was, of course, the, uh, the 350 Chev. Um, you know, it coined the saying, if you want to rev it, Chev it. And um, so there's some pretty capable small blocks getting around out there as well with the running on the, uh, the giggle gas. I didn't talk too much about the LS motors. I talked about the LS7, but LS1 was a groundbreaking design for um, General Motors all the way through to the LS9, and I've talked about the LS9 in a, another video. Um, seriously cool, you know, 6.2 litre with the 2300 blower on it. Comes out in the W1 here in Australia, and um, that is a very trick engine. Um, and of course, there's the LSA, that um, one of the groundbreaking engines that really, really got me and Frankie into the idea of having blown the supercharged V8s because um, when they came out in the GTS here in Australia they were groundbreaking and um, we'll share with you a clip of our first drive in an LSA from a, uh, a fellow YouTuber, check this out. Making the top Chevrolet engine of all time has to be the most powerful one, and it's the ZZ632-1000. This thing is off its chops, honestly. Made famous um, by Hoonigan in their Camaro, their third gen they're building, um, debuted at SEMA. This thing is just, it is amazing. I mean, I don't know how you can get normally aspirated 1,000 horsepower, um, and you know, these 632s, you know, some of them have been around a little while, and I know Blueprint have got one as well, but they, they do not typically pump out the sort of um, RPM and horsepower that this new crate engine does. How they do it on 93 octane fuel is beyond me too. They're running 12 to 1 compression. It's the cast iron bow tie block, aluminium heads. And the heads, if you've seen them, they are just massive tall block looking things. And uh, they are very cool. So again, I'll break the bank if you want to go buy one of these crate engines. I'm not aware of any car that actually comes out standard, so it is a crate option. Uh, and definitely no car in Australia that comes out with it because it's only just been released and um, we, we ain't making any more muscle cars. Um, unless you want to buy a Tesla and maybe throw that in it. and That'd be the only Tesla I'd buy. All right, hope you enjoyed that. Heaps more clips coming. We're going to do another one tonight as well. Yeah, we've been a little bit off the airwaves with our videos recently, but um, we're coming back in 2022, particularly with our VF coming back from the workshop. You've seen the VP sort of video yesterday. We're building this little six litre. And um, yeah, this will be a... Five to six hundred horsepower little monster to put in our um, our NASCAR Ute and um, happy days. Catch you later.